Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate MailChimp with Zapier. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, MailChimp.com and uh, or log into your existing account and go to integrations. As you can see, uh, there are a couple of integrations ready for you to integrate like Facebook, Google, SurveyMonkey or Twitter. But if you need uh, the other way how you can uh, make other integrations work like through Shopify, HubSpot, Squarespace or so on, uh, you need to use another integration app. One of uh, plans is Zapier.com. Uh, yeah. We have to also create an account at uh, Zapier.com. And once we are done, let's go to the top left corner and click on uh, create and zap, create a zap icon. Once we click there, uh, we can uh, name our zap, like uh, for example, MailChimp to Slack, for example. If you if the the other application that you are going to integrate will be Slack, but yeah, you know. It's just the name of the integration so you can get back to it and uh, use it maybe again again or um, yeah switch the other application a bit so now we have to start with the trigger the first trigger uh, will be obviously mailchimp now we have to pick a trigger event which is like we have a couple of options, but let's go with the first one, uh, the new audience. We click continue. Now we have to log in to the MailChimp account that we created uh, before or we logged in before. So we choose an account. If you have more account, there will be more accounts to pick from. Continue. And now we can test the trigger between MailChimp and Zapier. On the second action will be the app affected by uh, trigger in MailChimp, like the new audience in MailChimp will trigger some kind of reaction in, uh, let's say, well, I named it Slack, so let's go with a Slack. Action event, new audience in MailChimp will send the channel message in Slack. Maybe it makes no sense, but this is how it works. Continue. And the last thing is we have to log in uh, ourselves to our Slack account as well like this, we just hit continue. And now we have to set up an action. So once you do that and go through all the stuff that you need to add, you just uh, click to continue to finish uh, the integration and you are basically done. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.